Bam! Oh! <laughs> what the? What the hell just happened? Bruh! Oh, again. Okay, some gas. Come on. So basically guys, we did finish the engine right now and we need to install some stuff in the engine bay. So right now boys, we're gonna install the wheels like that maybe, should be good. Let me bring the four wheels. We got like four balls for each tire and we need, I think, spanner 13. Maybe guys, after we take the shower, no more mosquito bothering us, man. It's so annoying. Yeah, I'll go like take a shower real quick. The rear wheels are done. Let's go for the front. Should be good right here. Yep. So as you can see it's still bright and we should like work on the car outside it's better. Let me bring the fuel stainer, the first one. For the fuel stainer we need like one bolt to tighten with the 8mm spanner. Okay the clutch master cylinder right now, where is it? Yep we got it. We're gonna tighten two bolts with the same spanner, 8mm. Let's bring the brake master cylinder, I found it, bam. First thing we're gonna put the clutch lining and it needs like two bolts to tighten with the seven millimeters. And now let's break the brake lining and it has like 11 bolts to tighten with the seven millimeters. Yeah, this is kind of a little bit sketchy and we need to be careful. So guys, I hope I didn't miss anything about the braking line and so let's get to the radiator. So we need to tighten four bolts with the seven millimeter spanner. So we got the same one, bam. I think now it's time guys to push the car inside of the garage and put the engine. So I hope I don't push it inside of the thing. Yeah, straight, I, I want it like straight, let's see it. Yeah, perfect. It should be good. Maybe a little push from the front. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. We gotta put this thing inside. So should be like that. Oh, the bad thing we don't have like a handbrake. <laughs> She's going backwards. Maybe let's pull it up like this. Yeah. Okay, let's try to drop it a little bit. So we still didn't have the balls at the moment and we need to drop it more. Let's see if we got the bolts in or not. Oh yeah, we got the bolt for the rear one. One thing left, we're gonna push it a little bit forward like this. Let me bring the 11 millimeter spanner. So let's see if we can tighten it in the subframe. I hope it works. Oh, I see it, I see it. Bam, we did it boys. Now we gotta remove the motor hoist and we need spanner 10 millimeters. We should put it right here because we don't need it anymore. So right now I think we only left electrics and a couple of stuff. Let me bring the spark plugs real quick. So yep, here they are. And we should have like about four spark plugs in the one box. Bam, bam, bam and bam. Perfect. And we throw this away. Put these inside. And make sure to tighten the spark plugs with a spark plug wrench. Let me bring the belt, it's in the kitchen, yep, she's here, bam, we need a screwdriver for this mission, we need to pull it max to the right, and just like scroll two times forward, and that's it, one, two, perfect, after that just tighten one screw, and boys let's bring the battery in the kitchen, is it in the kitchen or in the trailer, oh yeah, I think it's in the trailer, yeah, she's right here. Okay, let's drop it in in this box. 
let's put the radiator hose number three. Oh, oh, we got it. And we got the radiator hose number two, which should be located in the same spot next to the other one. Oh yeah. And the radiator hose for number one. Yeah, like that. And for the hoses, we need like five screws to tighten. That's it. Okay, let's put now the exhaust pipe and the exhaust muffler at the bottom. Oh man. Oh, I got it. Oh, right there, right there. Bam. Oh, <laughs> what, the? what the hell just happened? We got it boys. And we need seven millimeter spanner to tighten three bolts. Let's bring the exhaust muffler and she's sitting right here. Bruh. Oh, again. Wow. <laughs> We gotta install like the gear linkage and it needs three bolts to tighten with the five millimeters. We need 11 millimeter spanner to tighten like seven bolts for the fuel tank. We gotta change like to 12 millimeters bolt to tighten just one bolt in the fuel tank. And now boys, let's install the fuel tank pipe. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the air filter and it needs I think 6 millimeter spanner and we need to tighten like 2 bolts. Let's install the gear stick inside and it needs 3 bolts to tighten with the 6 millimeters. We can put it. We did change the spanner to 5 millimeters to tighten just one bolt at the bottom and we need I think 4 bolts to tighten inside in the cockpit about 80 millimeter spanner I think. Man, it's so dark and the bolt is just right here. Let's install the stock steering wheel and it needs one bolt to tighten with the 10 millimeters. And the most important thing now, the wiring mess. So I think we should start with the rear because it's a lot easier. A rear harness connector, press F to do it and it should be one right here, yeah, the fuel tank. Oh yeah, we need to install like the rear lights, wait a second, a rear light left, bam, and bam. Okay, let me take this thing. We finished like wiring the back, so I think it's time to get some sleep, yeah, it's getting dark and it's not good. Oh yeah, so dark. So guys, it's completing the wiring thing. So from the main harness connector, I think we should take it, the front light connector, it should be like right here somewhere yep from this one fr front lights connector to the headlight right and from the front lights connector to the left one yep and now let's go with the main harness connector to the ignition coil from main harness connector to the radiator fan connector should be located somewhere near here we found it and again from main harness connector to the positive terminal this one and from the positive terminal we go to the starter and again from the main harness connector i think we should go to the regulator like that from the regulator we go to the alternator and about the negative terminal we take it to the battery ground connector should be here somewhere i don't know where but so we had like to take one bolt from the starter and we can put it right here it's called like the battery ground connector from this side we did pretty good so let's get inside and let's see boys. So from the fuse box we take it to the instrument panel 1, yep, from fuse box again to the instrument panel, from the fuse box again to the ignition switch. And from the radio we take it to the radio harness and the light switch to the dash harness connector. I think guys we did connect everything with the wiring mess and only left to do I think some tuning and now let's remove all the caps right here by the way guys there is an achievement when you pee in the red user you get it so let's see yeah Dakar rally oh yeah I forgot like everything in the back of the trailer let me throw this thing right there now we got the motor oil and let's see come on oh The engine now is good, let me drop this thing right here. Let me bring the coolant, we got 10 liters right here. Now let's bring the brake and the clutch fluid, so one right here. 
So the weird thing guys, I was expecting my grandma to call me on Sunday, but I think it didn't call me because I didn't finish the car. Man, I was so speeding to catch it. <laughs> and literally she didn't call me. Oh yes, I almost forgot to tighten like the bolts for the brake and clutch. Uh, we need the spanner 9mm. Man, imagine if the car doesn't work. I'll be so pissed. I think the only thing that I didn't do right now, dropping the fuel for the car. So let's put some gasoline. Guys, let's look again. Did we miss something? <laughs> uh, I'm so stressed, boy. Yeah, we did miss something. We didn't tighten the bolts for the handbrake. I'm gonna take a look again at the garage and let's see if we did miss something important, you know. Wait, 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 we did miss something. Wait, five millimeters? Yes, I told you. <laughs> I told you, even like there's one bolt for the starter right here and it needs like seven millimeters. Before we start the car or do anything else, I need to save really quick. Guys, I'm so stressed right now. Like, it's gonna be like the first start for this car after we spent, I think, three hours of building it. Oh man, that's a lot. And to tighten the battery, you need 8mm spanner and we need to start from the side first. Okay, boys, wish me luck. So let's enter the car, enter driving mode. Okay, the wheel works. Perfect. Okay, put the ignition. Oh, the light works. And as you can see, the dashboard works too. That's amazing. First of all, pull the choke and let's start it. Okay, some gas. Come on. Oh, why it's doing like that? Uh, this is kind of sketchy. <laughs> the second start, here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, yo, we made it, boys. We made it. Let's go. Uh, why the hell she went off right now? That's kind of weird, to be honest. It runs. We got the achievement unlocked. <laughs> Let's go, boys. So, I don't know if this is a good smoke or bad smoke, guys. At least, guys, we know that she runs right now and we can take it for test drive for the next episode. So, guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button, share this with your friends, also comment, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so don't miss out anything. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.